I like days like this with the eFix Live feed. We're joined by Richard Brooks, the inventor of the Socket Safety Shield, which is going to make electricians' life easier. And we like that, Joe, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. It's really nice to have Richard with us here today, and he's under a lot less pressure than the last time he appeared on camera because you actually went on Dragon's Den to gain investment for your invention yes, here. Were you yeah. successful in getting that yes, investment? Yes, I was successful five weeks ago. I was on BBC Dragon's Den, episode wow. six. I was successful in getting the investment from Theopathetis and Deborah Meaden. Fantastic. Um, and, uh, in, here we are now in, uh, in Joe and Gary's den, which is a lot less intimidating than Dragon's <laughs> den. Uh, and we want to have a little chat about this product because we've been looking at this, guys. And what's what's the key benefit of this? It's going to make it easier for electricians. So yep. when they're finished an installation, they can almost walk away from that installation yep. after they've tested it in a position where it still can be decorated and maybe even still be plastered. But also it's the, there for the plastering team and the decorating yep. team. And we've got two different versions. There's something that wasn't really highlighted when we're on yep. Dragon's den. Yeah, there's been part of my original picture on the Dragon's den. We've got three minutes, but that was edited down to one and a half minutes. And the bit which we edited out was we've got the disposable safety shield yep. used throughout nationwide by electricians right. when carrying out a first and second fix on occupied dwellings. So you can first, second fix, test, leave the installation safe for then for the plasterers to come along, plaster tile and paint around the installation, but you're keeping the full integrity of the electrical installation. Once complete, the disposable one is unique, but it just snaps to remove. Oh wow, man. Yep. look at that, that's fantastic. But then, following the success of the disposable shield, as we said, sold throughout the country to electricians, we then got demand from the following trades. Plasterers, tilers and painters were working around these and realised there's a benefit to me, personally, when electricians aren't working in the property, we need another product, so something which you can retrofit. Wow. The disposable one, you've got to fit it before you connect your electrical connections. The reusable one fits retro, so you just unscrew your switch off the wall, fit it around your cables, wow. use the longer screws, fit it back, so then the plasterer can plaster, tile, paint in safety while he's carrying out his works. And they never have to undo any electrical connections no, in no, order to, no. to get that no. All thing in you've place. got to do is remove the 25mm standard screws which come with the accessory, yep. Yep. put the 50mm screws in, wow. fitted, and then they can work around that installation. And a lot of these properties are occupied, so the tenant needs full access to electrical installation, lighting, power, everything. Don't turn the telly off because it's yellow. <laughs> uh, so, so, and that's a unique design of a reusable shield wow. is patented, designed, all BS certified, so it complies with BS5733. Mm -hmm. Every electrical accessory has to comply with that. Yeah. So it can be used and keep full integrity of electrical installation while working around the electrical accessory. So what we're Very really fantastic. saying is that when we pulled the electrical accessory off and we fitted a shield, whether it be the disposable one or the, the retrofit one that yeah. we can keep using, that we keep the IP rating of the top of the enclosure at yes. least IP4X yeah. and the rest of the enclosure yeah. at IP2X. Yeah. Yeah. So not only making electricians' lives easier, and we like that very yeah. much, but also making electrical installation work much safer, safer. for the occupier. Yeah. What we found is, I used to carry out electrical rewires. We had five teams doing rewires, social housing predominantly, which were occupied properties. Prior to me inventing the safety shield, you did a full rewire in a day, the plaster wouldn't come for two or three days later. Mm -hmm. When the plaster came along, we had to send an electrician in the morning, do a safe isolation, the plaster would unscrew all the switch and sockets, plaster up, drop all his damp plaster in the back of the sockets, screw them back, and on an evening, my electricians would go and energise, do a test, and at the time of the test, it tests clearly, then at nine o'clock at night, I'd get the phone call. My sockets have tripped out in my kitchen. Are your plaster being in today? Yeah, straight away. Mm -hmm. I was on the health and safety committee at one of the builders because I liked having subcontractors to give them feedback on health and safety. Right. Safe isolations, you know, um, lock-offs, you know. It's costing us money, it costs us time. Is there a solution? Is there a product on the market? I thought, no, but I've got an idea. <laughs> so I went away, saw my patent attorney, saw an injection moulding company, and even before I'd got the, the actual first manufactured products, I've got orders for 30,000 because, wow, yeah, 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 one of the main social housing providers, Waits Living Space, um, they love them. Improved health and safety, we're doing rewires in a day, giving them full access to the installation because they were energised and tested, and then two or three days later the plasterer came, he could plaster the tile, the paint, without having to t knock off the power and the tenant would not lose their you know, television or lighting. So everyone's a winner. Yeah. Everyone's a winner. So it was developed as a safety product, but then we found was sa the savings in time and money. People were saving time. Electricians, one visit. Your plasterer, one visit. Your plasterer wasn't having to spend time unscrewing and screwing sockets back, you know, um, once it had been de-energized, you know. The tilers loved them because you've got a straight edge to tile up against, get a neater edge on your tiles. 
everybody loved it. They're plastic? Yes, they're okay, plastic. Okay, so it's a big thing nowadays, yeah, isn't it, plastic? Yeah, yeah. Are they recyclable? Yes, it's high impact styrene, which is grade six. High impact styrene is the most recyclable plastic on the market. You can recycle high impact styrene as many times as you want, and it won't lose its integrity. Oh, wow. Unlike some plastic, which you can recycle once, and you can never re-injection mould it, whereas high impact styrene is one of the most versatile. Um, wow. And we've got the reusable one. Yeah. So the disposable one, which can be recycled yep. as many times as you want, the reusable one, which can reuse as many times as you want. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. Just, I can't see a negative. All corners covered. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? All corners covered. Can, can we see it in action, please? Is yeah, that possible, yeah, yeah, Richard? Yeah, yeah. yeah, as you can Fantastic. see, what we've got on the board is we've got your old predominant first fix. Yes. Some electricians would travel to the job, do a first fix, Two weeks later, after the plastered, tiled and painted, we come and do a second fix. Okay. Whereas now with the shield, we can do a second fix. Second fix, we fit the shield. Yep. The electrician, 50 mil screws connected. Screw, screw it back, yep. Yeah, yeah. Don't fitted, yep. leave it for a week, two weeks, um, while the plasterer, painter, tiler do all their work. And then once complete, take the screws out, unclip it, and then use the two 25 mil standard screws to screw the accessory back. Brilliant. So, so what we're saying is the electrician will have tested, completed first and second yeah. fix, walked away from the installation, even though it hasn't been plastered, even though it hasn't been painted, and all we've got to ensure is the person following him follows the safe isolation procedure. Yeah. Competent motion, person. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Competently, an electrician, when you leave the job, you'd show the tenant, you'd show the builder how to safely isolate. If he has tripped any sockets out, you show the end user how to operate the RCD and the circuit breaker and show them the safe isolation procedure. Um, so as you can see, full integrity of installation. We can use this socket, we can use this switch spur unit yeah. throughout the duration of the works. One thing that tenants don't like is they lose the kitchen for two weeks, they can't go in, they've got nowhere to plug a kettle in. Whereas here, you've got full use of your installation, your cooker, your sockets, your lighting. Um, while the work's been carried out. And the finish is so much better, isn't it? Because we're going to actually yeah. get either a painted or yeah. plastered edge right up to the box and give that, that beautiful finish. Yeah. The thing I love about it as well is that you spoke about tiling earlier, yeah. and you're probably the same, guys, when the tiler used to come in and it just goes slightly over your, your screw terminal the, when you were trying to put your front on. Yeah, the tiler would tile over the back box when you've done the first fix. Yeah. You come to the second fix, you're having to break the tile yeah, yeah, so you yeah, can yeah. actually get access yeah. to your screw on the back box. None of that anymore. Um, Brilliant. Two sizes. Every electrical back box is made to be S4662, which mm -hmm. is standard size, yep. single and double. Yep. So we've got the single and we've got the double, but we've also got something which we've always had patented, won't be in manufacture until the Dragon's Den, and then we realised through demand from people they wanted one for the ceiling rows. Right. So we even do one for the ceiling rows. So longer screws, two inch screws, three ceiling rows, because electrician. Um, because the electricians want the second fix, your painters always want light to paint. Yeah. We don't like painting <laughs> yeah, the shafts yeah, yeah, yeah. under sight light. <laughs> so what we found is not just on Occupy refurbishments, on new build, you can do your final first and second fix, you can energize and test, and then your painter's happy because he's got light to paint. So with a ceiling one, longer screws, and then when complete, it just snaps off, like we do with the disposable one. Take it off and screw your screws in. Your ceiling row screwed up, so we're covering all accessories, single, double, ceiling. Per unit Phenomenal. price? Per unit price, 50 pence. Wow, that's, 50 pence. that's just a no-brainer, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you'll go to your old sailors. Um, on the disposable one, um, I've been selling them 10 years through the electrical wholesalers nationwide. Um, the reusable one is a very new product. Yeah. This product, um, I had to open an online shop just to supply demand because right. electrical wholesalers didn't have the reusable in stock. Right. Um, I didn't have the market penetration into the building trade. Yeah. So it would be perfect to see on the shelf next to your plaster, your yeah. paint, your Artex and your tiles. Yeah. So when the tiler goes in, oh, the socket safety shield, I need to be using them. Yeah. So I'm doing an occupied property next week. That's fantastic. So, and love we it. love products that make electricians' life easier, yep. but if we can make other trades' life easier, Absolutely. it's a double win. Yeah. Richard, yeah. thank you thank ever you so much, much for that. Thank you. Thanks, you. Thanks, Thanks so much for the invite. Thank you. <laughs>